Topic, friction. <laughs> Why is it difficult to pull a boat on the beach than on the sea? Mm. Hey, you will find it difficult to pull the boat on the beach. Pull it on the sea. There it will be quite easy. Indeed, why not? Fine, don't listen. Uh. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> At least now try to pull the boat on the huh? sea. It is quite easy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yippee! Do you know why? Mm. This is because of friction. Friction is the force which opposes the motion of an object. It always acts in the direction opposite to the direction of motion. The amount of friction depends upon the texture of an object and the surface on which it is being moved. <laughs> <laughs> Rough textures or surfaces offer greater friction as compared to smooth textures or surfaces. Arg. Do you want to say that my brand new boat has a rough texture? No. Even though the texture of the boat is almost smooth, the small particles of sand present on beach form a rough surface. Hmm. Hence, when we pull the boat on beach, the sand particles uh. offer greater friction and uh. oppose the motion of the boat, thus making it difficult to move the boat on the beach. Hmm. However, the sea being a liquid <laughs> forms a smooth surface. <laughs> Hence, when we pull the boat on sea, it <laughs> offers less friction, thus making it comparatively less <laughs> difficult to pull the boat on sea. <laughs> Topic, auroras. Huh? Why are auroras formed? Maybe because the Earth forgets to switch off the lights. <laughs> nah, huh? let me explain. Hmm. Our sun is a giant burning star. Hmm. It expels tons of solar wind into space. Solar huh? wind consists of super hot charged particles, which are fatal. So, should we use a big umbrella to protect ourselves from these particles? No. Huh? The Earth's magnetic field ah. acts like a shield and protects us. Its field lines appear to emerge from the South Pole and merge into the North Pole. Hmm. Now, when the charged particles hit our magnetic field, most of them get deflected. However, some huh? of them flow along the Earth's magnetic field lines to the poles and <laughs> reach our upper atmosphere. Hmm. Here, these particles collide with oxygen and nitrogen. This causes them to give off various ah. colors of light, which are called auroras. <laughs> Topic, pathogens. Why do we get fever? So that we can take a holiday from work. <laughs> nah. Huh? Fever is a protective response of our body to fight against pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, and fungi. These pathogens cause diseases. Hence, when pathogens enter our body, the immune cells such as white blood cells produce chemicals called pyrogens, which are released into the bloodstream. <laughs> oh, I thought like movies, they are released in theaters. <laughs> Please, pay attention. Mm. Hypothalamus, which is a small part of our brain, regulates our body temperature. Hmm. However, when these pyrogens reach the hypothalamus, it starts to raise our body temperature, thus producing fever. Hmm. Now, one of the reasons for producing this fever is that many pathogens cannot survive at high temperatures. Thus, they die and we remain safe. <laughs> Topic, pimples. Huh? Oh. Why do we get pimples? Because they don't want me to look handsome. No. Pimples are caused due to the activity of sebaceous gland present in our skin. Hmm. This gland produces an oily substance called sebum. Sebum comes up to the skin surface through a pore and moisturizes our hair and skin. Oh, like a moisturizer? Absolutely. Oh. However, sometimes the pore gets blocked due to dead skin cells. Due to this blockage, the sebum gets accumulated, creating a bump. As sebum is a very good source of nutrients for the bacteria in our skin, they start to grow in that area, leading to an infection. Our immune system responds to this infection by sending blood and immune cells. Blood makes the area red, whereas the immune cells kill the bacteria, resulting in inflammation and formation of a pimple. <laughs> 
Topic: Thermoregulation. <laughs> huh? Why do dogs pant? Because they want to tease us. No, they pant for thermoregulation. Thermoregulation is the process by which organisms maintain their internal body temperature. Oh well, I use an air conditioner. Oh, you're unbelievable. When we humans feel hot,、mm. the sweat glands, which are present all over our body, produce sweat. Sweat is about 99% water. This water takes our body heat and evaporates, helping us to lose heat. <laughs> Now, dogs also have sweat glands. However, they are present under their paws. But as their paws are small and are mostly、mm. used to stand and sit, sweating through them to lose heat is、mm. not enough. Hence, dogs pant. During panting, they take their long tongue out and breathe heavily. Due to this, the water in their saliva evaporates, taking their body heat, thus helping in thermoregulation. <laughs> Topic: Taste buds. <laughs> Why mint tastes cold? Maybe because it is manufactured in Antarctica. <laughs> Not at all. Wait. I'll explain.、Mm. Our tongue is actually a muscle which consists of many taste buds or receptors. Are they similar to my earbuds? <laughs> nah. Huh? When foods having flavors such as sweet, salty, sour, bitter, or umami come in contact with these taste receptors and activate them, they send signals to the brain, telling us their taste. However, when we eat mint, it feels or tastes、mm. cold. This is because mint contains a compound called menthol. Menthol does not activate the taste receptors, but instead it activates、mm. the cold sensing receptors in our tongue. Hence, <laughs> these receptors send messages to our brain signaling cold. As a result, the brain thinks that something cold is present in our mouth, thus making mint taste <laughs> cold. Topic: Lunar eclipse. <laughs> Why does the moon turn red? Huh? To scare us. No, <laughs> moon does not have a light of its own. Why? Didn't he pay the electricity bill? <laughs> oh,、huh? please listen. Sunlight or white light is a mixture of visible colors. Now, when the sunlight falls on the moon, it reflects all these visible colors equally, making the moon to mostly appear white.、Hmm. However, during a lunar eclipse, when the Earth is exactly between the sun and the moon, the moon appears red. This happens because of the Earth's atmosphere. When the sunlight coming from the sun passes through the Earth's atmosphere, the Earth's atmosphere scatters the colors of the sunlight, having shorter wavelengths. However, red color, which has the longest wavelength, is least scattered.、Hmm. Hence, it makes its way to the moon, making it look red. <laughs> Topic: Snoring. Why do we snore? I don't snore. I sing. All right. Now let me explain.、Mm. Snoring is a noisy, rattling sound occurring during sleep. Oh, really? I thought snoring is a pleasing piano sound. Please listen.、Huh? Snoring is basically caused due to obstruction of air in our respiratory tract during breathing. When we breathe, we take in air through nose or mouth, which then passes down the throat into the lungs. Normally, when we aren't asleep, our mouth parts, <laughs> like soft palate and uvula, keep this tract wide open, allowing air to pass easily.、Hmm. However, excess growth of soft palate and uvula in some people causes snoring.、Oh. So when these people sleep, these parts fall on the back of their throat, creating an obstruction. Hence, when they inhale, the air hits these parts, making them vibrate, which we hear as snoring. <laughs> Topic: Freckles. <laughs> huh? Why do we get freckles? Cause they are being sold for free. Free, free, free. No. Huh? We get freckles because of melanin. Melanin is a pigment produced by cells called melanocytes in our skin. It gives color to our hair and skin. <laughs> Will it give color to my door? Oh. Please listen. <laughs> Besides giving color, 
melanin also acts as a natural defense against the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. When we are in the hot sun, our skin, which is exposed to the sunlight, activates its melanocytes, causing them to produce melanin. Melanin absorbs the ultraviolet radiation, thus protecting us and in due course darkening the skin. However, in some people, this melanin is not produced evenly. This means some parts of their skin produce more melanin as compared to others, mm. thus creating small dark patches on their skin called freckles. Mm. Topic: Myopia What causes nearsightedness? Excess staring at junk food. No. When light from an object enters our eyes, our eye lens bends it such that the image is formed on the retina. However, in some people, this image is formed before the retina. Such defect is called nearsightedness or myopia. A person with myopia cannot see distant objects clearly. But why? Wait, I'll explain. To focus image of a distant object on the retina, our eye lens becomes thin. However, in people with myopia, the lens cannot become adequately thin, mm. thus forming image before the retina and making it difficult to mm. see. Moreover, when the eyeball is elongated more than normal, the distance between the lens and the retina increases resulting in the formation of image before the retina, thus causing difficulty in seeing the distant object. 